In this quick guide, I'm going to show you how to check and change your mouse indexing for the Supermodel emulator. And this is of course for the light gun users or people that want to play with two mice. To check what mouse indexing number is being used for your light guns or your mice, just come over to the control tab here. And now we want to change the input system over to raw input. Now if you're using MyUni file or you have raw input set up on a per game basis, don't forget to change this back once you've checked for your mouse index. And now we want to start the Supermodel remapping tool with this config button here. However, we're not actually changing any controls using it. So just press that config button there. I'm just going to bring this into the window. Now we're actually completely ignoring what it's asking us to input here because we're just checking our mouse indexing. And because of the way the remapping tool works, it doesn't actually register a left click. So you're going to use your right mouse click or a different button on your light gun for it to actually register to find out what your mouse index is. So just press enter and then it will say setting and that's when it's ready to receive an input. Now with the mouse on my left, I'm gonna right mouse click or press another button on my light gun. And we can see that that's showing up as mouse two. And it's really only the number that you need to focus on here. So I'm gonna make a note that the mouse or light gun on my left is registering as mouse two. So I'm gonna press enter again. So it says setting. And then with the mouse or light gun on my right, I'm going to right mouse click or press another button. And we can see that that is showing up as mouse one. Now these numbers could be completely different for you. They could be three and four, five and six, or seven and eight. So just make a note of which one is on your left, which one is on your right, and which numbers they correspond to. Now we want to make all of these changes in the any file directly. So we don't want to make any changes using this. So just exit out of it and it won't save any changes. And obviously don't forget to change your input system back to what it was. Now let's go in and change our indexing in the any file. So just go into the supermodel file system here, go into the config folder and open up the supermodel any file. Then scroll down to the light gun game that you want to configure for. I'm just going to use the Lost World here as an example. Now the mouse indexing here is actually on a per input basis. So if you need to change it, you need to make sure that you change all of these individually. Now this is actually set correctly for me here. So mouse one and two are my mice. And as a rule of thumb, you always want to set the lower number as the first player. So say for example, your light guns were showing up as numbers five and six. So just to show you how I change this, I would change the first player to number five for every single input where number one shows up. So it's going to take all of those out and replace it with a five. And if the second light gun I'm using shows up as mouse six, I'll just change that to, to a six for all of these inputs. So I'm just going to do all of those. There we go. And then I'd obviously make sure that I save that. So now our mouse indexing is correct and it's all lined up with our any file. However, <laughs> and it's a big however, Windows can shuffle around your mouse indexing whenever it feels like it. So if you notice that your light gun input suddenly stop working, it's more than likely gonna be the mouse indexing again. But there are plenty of other alternatives that help to actually fix your mouse indexing so it's not much of an issue. There is a Cinder remapping tool that works really well with Supermodel, and I believe that Arcade Guns, that application also works well with this. I don't actually own a light gun, so I can't test and configure for it, but I've heard that they are good alternatives. And knowing how to do this will help in setting up those applications as well. But if you wanna keep everything self-contained within Supermodel and not have to use any third-party applications, this is the best way to do it. There we go, that's how to check and change your mouse indexing only using Supermodel. Now, if you found this video helpful, slam me a thumbs up, and if you wanna keep up to date, you know what to do. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.